Hospitals are busy places, and in the course of a single day, those who work there can witness a wide range of human life experiences. Some joyful, some funny, some upsetting and some sad. With so much happening all the time, one of the real challenges for us all is being aware of what individual patients on a ward may be going through. I remember one day in the surgical ward, one of the student nurses had just passed her placement and had brought a cake in for the staff. There was a bit of banter and yahoo at the nurse's station, a little bit noisier than normal. And one of the relatives came up to the station and asked us could we pay a bit more respect. One of the patients in the ward had died. We just hadn't known. We felt awful. We could just only imagine what that family were thinking. Nobody wants to add to the grief of a family or cause upset at a time when they're going through the death of a loved one. But without awareness of what is happening around us, we can sometimes overlook the things going on for other people at the bedside. Awareness of what is happening on a ward is important, not just for the clinical staff, but for all who work there. I was up with the normal dinner trolley as usual. I was going round the rooms. I took the tray into room six and when I opened the door, I saw the priest and the family all round the bed and I just realised that the patient had passed away. I just felt really bad. I couldn't help thinking if that had been my mother in the bed, what would I have thought if somebody barged into our family at such a sad time? These sorts of things shouldn't happen, and the staff on each ward work hard to ensure that there's good communication amongst all. But despite the best of intentions and good practices, sometimes it's just impossible to keep everybody up to speed with exactly what is happening to everyone on the ward. One of the most important times for all staff to be aware of is when a patient is dying or has died when the family need quietness and respectfulness to support them in their grief. The Hospice Friendly Hospitals programme in Ireland identified this as an issue that relatives were particularly sensitive to. Memories surrounding the time of death are acutely important and heartfelt. Just couldn't believe it. My mother had just died and I overheard a couple of staff talking about where they were going that night for the crack. I mean, I felt so alone. I know they didn't mean anything by it, but I just felt that they just didn't care. It felt disrespectful for a woman who all her life had worked to help others. I just wanted to shout at them, but of course I didn't. To reduce the chances of such hurt happening, the Hospice Friendly Hospitals programme introduced the use of the end of life care symbol for staff on wards and hospitals across Ireland and beyond. The three-stranded white spiral represents the interconnected cycle of life, birth, life and death. The symbol is inspired by ancient Irish history and is not associated with any one religion or denomination. When a patient is dying or has died and their remains are still on the ward, the symbol will be displayed at the nurse's station and on the door of the patient's room to notify staff that a patient has died and ensure that a respectful atmosphere is maintained. When staff see the symbol, they know what it means and that care needs to be taken with noise levels so that this very special time for the patient and for the family is not disrupted. It is a way of augmenting our physical and emotional care for patients and families with support and respect. Details of the symbol and of its use are contained in the palliative care folder which is also kept at the nurse's station if you have any questions about the symbol or how it's used, please have a chat with one of the palliative care team. Thank you for all you do in helping patients and families. We hope the symbol will help us all.